what's going on this is rob from panther and welcome to a new episode of what else can you do with your logo uh this is the half tone lines uh you know this is this was used in printing this, this is a really old school kind of style and effect basically was incorporated in the design because it indicates speed so it was uh, basically also incorporated as you can see here and um you know in sports nike also had it also a lot of times so uh we're gonna check this out so yeah let's jump in okay first thing have your text i'm gonna use this as usual because this is really dynamic it's also italic so if you cho choose a font uh make sure you put it in italic let's see this font also has the italics and you know because it's tilted it indicates like more speed if you are applying this on text okay so we got the text i'm gonna put this away and select the rectangle tool and make sure you're on the fill as you can see here this is the fill if you got something on the stroke let's say a color uh, let's uh, click on here on the none click on the fill so it's gonna be on the top and let's uh, draw so this is the first line so uh, this is basically gonna be the thinnest line press and hold all to drag it down press also shift so you can isolate and then press ctrl d so basically you have three copies you know under each other and then now from here select these two make a copy of course press and hold all to drag it to the left press also shift so you can isolate it and now we have this interesting effect going on okay so we're gonna need to establish the distance between uh, these lines this is going to be you know so this is a half and we need let me create two of these put it here and uh, make it like this and this is going to be the distance now i'm gonna delete these two i'm gonna unite these Click on the Unite from the Pathfinder. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. And you can put it right here. So this is the dif difference. You need to unite these also. So click on Unite, click on this Unite. Don't unite it like this because we need these separately. So select all these three and just press and hold Alt, drag it down, press also Shift and this is the ending when they intersect with this from here just press ctrl d a lot of times or long press ctrl d and this is the dis distance between the lines we need three copies of these actually i'm gonna have an original copy also and every each is going to be gonna apply an effect i'm gonna pull this effect here um, let me right click a group I'm gonna pull this down and select both of the logos and click on this on the vertical align top as you can see everything is aligned here I'm gonna drag uh, the Panther logo to the right with the effect right click on the effect on group and I'm gonna separate these two effects and just put it here actually these effects are gonna be applied separately on these and uh, I'm gonna go select these, group them. Whoops, like this. Right click group, expand it a little more, select all of these, and press Shift plus M or go to the, what is that? There you go. Here is the Shape Builder tool. Press Shift plus Alt. I mean Alt plus Shift because with the Alt, you're basically gonna delete. And just uh, select these areas and as you can see just deleted those uh, from here we're gonna leave the thicker parts and we're gonna eliminate the thinner parts okay now everything is cut out and now I need to cut out everything from inside as you can see the blue highlights also show the shape of the letters so i know what to cut out so i'm just gonna press and hold alt and cut out these forms good 
as you can see we got a thin line because this is how they aligned uh, this also can be perfected uh, but as for reference this is pretty good here so this is the thick version I gotta pull it actually got the like two copies and I'm gonna delete uh, the bottom one and the same thing applies here <laughs> Gonna, I'm gonna show you how this works uh, so mainly you need to pull this here okay and also here select all of it and press horizontal distribute center uh, in the top here so uh, now it's there's distri distributed correctly as you can see we got a, a lot of messy parts and uh, it's still more unclear like what is going on here so I'm gonna show you how to simplify the process on how to make it more clean and visible so I'm gonna create a new copy of this. I'm gonna separate them. We need to basically remain with the original one, with the thick one. So I'm gonna, of course, recolor these so you can understand it better. So we're gonna remain with the blue. We need to cut out everything from, from the pink. I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna remove some of the parts with the pen tool. So let's, I'm gonna select the black. Basically only this part needs to be remained here. This is the effect and what's inside basically I can cut out. I'm gonna select it from here. Same thing apply with this. Of course this uh, also needs to be cleaned up. Right now it's just a reference. I'm gonna make it real quick. and we need to remain with these thin lines so i'm gonna double click i'm gonna select the direct selection tool from here this one and i'm just gonna remove these delete and delete again also gonna remove this one and what else is inside here uh i'm gonna remain with the direct selection tool and uh, select these, press and hold shift and just select these parts of the right, you know, these anchor points on the right of every each shape, which can, which is in the green, of course. Okay, now I selected everything and I'm gonna pull one of the anchor points and press and hold shift, pull it here. release actually not release double click it again and now we're gonna delete some of the forms click on the pen tool select the pen tool from here select this area and like this select these select them all shift plus m or go to the shape builder tool again shift plus alt alt plus shift sorry and just delete these this is how it's done and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel hit the notification notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and check out the other videos as well have a good one bye bye